back to the home market gardener yeah. leave me alone I'm busy farming all right real quick intro into today's video I have been experimenting with starting my sweet potato slips from vine cuttings today I harvested this bed as I want to plant my garlic again for context we're in Florida zone 9b Evenings are getting down into low 40s, upper 30s, so I want to get this bed ready, amended with fresh compost, a little organic fertilizer, and get my garlic in the ground. So now I have some cuttings that I want to see if I can continue growing with the vine tops that still had roots on them. So again, another continuing experiment here with sweet potatoes, which again, I think I've got easy 10 pounds right here so I hope you enjoy this video again it's a short one today I wanted to get this bed harvested with the sweet potatoes out so I could plant my garlic and I was surprised at how many sweet potatoes so I decided to shoot a short video all right I hope you like today's video well here I am again harvesting my sweet potatoes before I really would like to. But I've been wanting to replant this Birdie's Raised Garden Bed with my garlic. And our evenings have been getting down into the low 40s. So a few minutes ago, I came through here and I cut out all of the, the vines. I just harvested out one of the slips. Now, why I wanted to talk to you about this is these are the slips that I harvested from vines. So I wanted to show that this is a viable way to start your sweet potatoes. This is the plant. I don't want to pull it all the way out yet because I'm thinking of transplanting it. But that's what the sweet potatoes came off of. Let's see if we have another one here. Yep. So let's go after here it is right here actually. So as you can see. Let me move these sweet potatoes. I've got another one right here. These are nice size. And really I was trying to see if I could grow these through the winter. And I do have some inside my greenhouse. I'll take that for a premature. And I believe these are a Georgia Jet sweet potato. If I've labeled it correctly. So, not so much on that one, and I should be using a pair of gloves. The last time I did this, the dirt got so impacted underneath my nails. Here's another one. This is crazy. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig these out so that I can get ready. Oh, here's a big one right here. Look at that. That's amazing. I, let me tell you, I've never grown sweet potatoes until... Uh, the I guess it was June April or June of this year all right I'll come back in just a little bit we'll keep digging through here all right here's what we got right here oh, I'm gonna say that's easy seven pounds so we have from this size to this primo loves sweet potatoes so these work out well for him we have just a couple of really small ones here so I'll let these dry in the greenhouse for a couple of days. I'll get a little brush. I'll just wipe off some of the heavy dirt. <clears throat> yeah, another small one. And that's about the smallest one. Hey, Primo, look what we got. Sweet potatoes for your dinner. Yeah. 
And this dog loves vegetables. And here's one that didn't quite get to grow up, but you can see where it grew from that uh, vine and it was going down and gonna form a larger sweet potato. So again, and if I remember, I'll put a link to how I start my sweet potato slips. Um, but basically I just cut an end off a vine like this and I put it in one of those six cell seed starting trays, wait for some roots to form out of the bottom, then I put it right into the ground and you can see how those roots go down and they make sweet potatoes. There's an example of the early stages. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna go ahead and try and replant these ends here in just a few minutes again. That's typically how I start off. So this particular journey was, I had earlier this year ordered 50 slips. 25 went to my son, Gerald. I kept 25 because I went and converted to a home market garden. I had to relocate a lot of the beds that the sweet potatoes were planted in. So as I said earlier, I had to harvest them a little early. I had several varieties, the Japanese, the Georgia Jet, a few others. I, I think I like the Georgia Jet the best. <clears throat> but anyway, the point is, in that first planting, that was my first attempt at sweet potatoes, I got over 25 pounds. Just here alone, again, I'm gonna say that seven, maybe even 10 pounds. And I did it by almost like a continuous or succession planting where I had pulled all of the sweet potatoes out of this bed because it didn't get relocated. This was the first bed to get replanted. So end of August, September, I believe. And now we're at December 2nd. And there's the result. So again, this was to prove to myself that this was a viable way. And my goal is to keep these cuttings growing all through the winter, even if I don't get much production, and then I can start my slips again and be right back in business. Again, this is a very sustainable crop. From here, I will go ahead and amend this bed with fresh compost and some organic fertilizer. Lots of worms in here, by the way. Nice, beautiful, healthy soil. And then I'll go ahead and plant my garlic in here. So that's what's growing on here at the home market garden. It just keeps getting better and better as I learn. So again, if you guys want to follow this journey, you're going to have to subscribe. There's a lot of information here and it's free. Look at that beautiful soil. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I'll try and remember to post a link of how I start my sweet potatoes. There's several videos I have done. It's really simple. But anyway, that's it. I got to get this stuff planted here. I want to see if I can get these to grow again. So just more of a journey here of how we continue to ensure we have a, an endless supply of organic fruits and vegetables. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Let's go.